Oh, fat. Okay, back to shock absorbers. Shock absorbers. Basic function of a shock absorber is to slow down your, your, your spring compression and rebound. In other words, control the spring because the spring, you know, it's a spring. Boing, yoing, yoing. You know anything about springs? It's got a compression, it's got a rebound. Compression, rebound. And it does that by a valve moving through the hydraulic fluid. And, you know, I used to have a, I took part of shock and I had all the valves and all that and I must have tossed them somewhere. I would have showed you. But uh, it's very simple. Basically all shocks work on the same principle. They're just slightly different designs, so. What I want to talk about though is the steering stabilizer. The steering stabilizer is basically the same principle except it's at a horizontal. It's a horizontal, okay? Uh, when I put the first dual stabilizer kit on my Super Duty there, it was a, uh, it was a Fabtech kit. And uh, a lot of my friends, uh, the ones don't know nothing about nothing. We're like, what are those for? How does that work? What do they do? You know, it's a steering stabilizer. You know? So, let me see if I can explain in detail exactly how these things work. Let's see if I don't leave anything out. Ooh, it's awfully hot right here. All right, basically the steering stabilizer is dampening. In other words, it's, it's controlling the horizontal movement of your steering linkage and your wheels here, okay? It's clamped onto the tie rod and most of the time it's clamped on to the axle. So the axle is holding one end and the moving part on your tie rod is holding the other end. And that's damping any forces that are coming out of your wheels as you're rolling down the road. Um, I don't know how many of you have had the uh, wheel snap out of your hand when you're off-roading. You know what that's like? It's like, oh, hit something hard, so I want to turn your wheels. Well, little bumps do the same thing, okay? And these big trucks, even your factory tire is pretty heavy. Now this tire here I think is over 100 pounds and then you got the wheel on there and then you spin this thing, it's a gy gyroscope. I don't know how many of you know what a gyroscope is, you know, go back to junior high school science class. <laughs> uh, so this is just aiding and controlling all that horizontal movement in your wheels here. Okay, slow it down, smooth it out. Take some of the load off your steering links, off your steering box, all the way up to your steering wheel. Get your steering box up here. This is your uh, Pitman arm coming off the steering box. It's got this link that goes across over to your steering knuckle. This is the uh, called the drag link because it's dragging everything back and forth. Bottom one here is a tie rod. It's tying your right hand side tire over to your left hand side tire. Way over here. Anytime you hit a bump with this right tire here, it wants to transmit that energy over to your left hand side through your steering links to your steering box to your steering wheel. The damper is supposed to soak some of that up. It's not going to soak all of it up, it's going to soak a lot of it up. So. These trucks come with a factory damper, uh, it's probably similar to this one right here, this is a Rancho. And on the Ford, especially this year, I think it was 99 to 2000, they mount right under here, something like that. Pretty low. This has been modified though, I cut it off. First thing is, if you're going with bigger tires, you might want to get the uh, Rancho heavy duty 
and uh, mount it on the factory location. It's a little bigger than the factory, stock factory one, so that's one way to go. If you're running really big, big tires, you might want to go with a dual setup. Uh, some really inexpensive uh, dual stabilizers out there, uh, Rough Country, um, I think Fabtech has one, Rancho, there's some expensive ones, the expensive ones it's all about the shock, you know, people are putting like a Fox or a Bilstein even got Kings, you know, they all do the same thing. They all do, the, there's even a reservoir, I think Fabtech's making a reservoir steering stabilizer. That's way overkill. You're not going to need nothing like that to be driving down the highway. Even off-road. I mean, these things don't get hot like a shock absorber does. you got to figure your, your wheels and your shocks on your car when you're bouncing down the road are really moving fast. This is your steering system, it's going like that. Don't believe me next time you're out off-roading. Stop and feel the temperature of your shocks and then feel the temperature of your steering stabilizer. These things are always cool in my, my truck. But uh, here's a uh, Rancho kit for Super Duty. It's basically a $175 kit, I think. $180 kit. Pretty good quality. Nice powder coated, nice welds. This is your center section here that ties onto the axle with some U-bolts. Um, it's actually going to go like that. One there. One there. Come on. Ranchos. And then uh, the ends clamp on to the tie rod, these brackets right here. Go something like that. These holes are for U bolts. Pretty nice looking brackets. Nice quality. And then on the top here, it's got the uh, just typical uh, stud mount shock uh, hardware. Yeah. Little rubber bushings, a couple washers, and a nut. And that's basically it. Uh, this is kind of a typical kit. Uh, this mounts over the tie rod, up above it. Keep it out of harm's way. You don't want one that mounts it underneath the tie rod, especially if you plan on doing any off roading. Uh, now you can buy this kit, or you can buy a similar kit, uh, I think like Top Guns Custom, sell you a custom kit and sell you any kind of steering stabilizer you want. Now, they basically all do the same thing, okay? Depends on what, how you want to do it, how you want to go, how much money you want to spend.